Welcome to Daily Watch Talks, number 130. And yes, you're seeing it right. We're on location again. <laughs> we are in Lissantier, and we are visiting an absolute favorite watch brand, Cheche Le Coultre. I don't know how you pronounce it, but we pronounce it Cheche Le Coultre. Cheche Le Coultre. I think that's very close to how it should be, French whiz. And it's, for the people who don't know, I think there won't be many people not knowing uh, the reputation of Gégé Le Coutre. It's a true manufacturer yeah. with a large history. I looked it up, Christian. You know, I'm, I'm a numbers guy. Yes, you are. 430 patents alone, 1,300 different calibers developed over the years. That is a lot of patents and a lot of in-house movements. Of course, Gégé Le Coutre is providing uh, stellar movements for other brands for many, many years. Now they do it for themselves, as we say. Uh, and it feels good to be with Cheshire Le Coulter today and just watching the uh, independency that they have worked towards. Yeah, absolutely. Because what you see in front of us is the novelties for 2022. On Watches and Wonders, they are announcing several new brands, several new calibers. Let's first give an overview. We're going in the high horology with master the highest levels of watchmaking. Um, and the theme this year for Gégé Le Coutre is celestial time. Yes. They're celebrating celestial time. So they're not looking at earth, they're looking at the sky for their inspiration. Which is very clear from where we are because yeah. there are not a lot of inhabitants here in the Jura Mountains and in the valley, the Val du Joux. This is not Val du Joux. Valet du Joux, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, Valet du Joux. It's, yeah. Absolutely. It's so you can the see border. the stars. Yeah. And actually, just behind us uphill, there's a, a planetary yeah. uh, observatory, yeah. uh, which is acknowledged by NASA. And the truth is that Gégé Le Coutre also has a past in creating celestial inspired uh, watches, whether it is the, the moon faces or the more complicated pieces. So there is a history here. And this year, they're going full blown. So we have at the, tr at the tray in front of us, mm -hmm. uh, some beautiful examples of what is launched this week, mm -hmm. uh, including the master hybrid Artistica pieces, the caliber 945 and the caliber 948. And I suggest we start with that because this will be a bit more down to earth, if you will, in terms of value and in terms of positioning, which is the Polaris Perpetual Calendar. How can you say it's not as fine? I mean, come on. This screams Christian Hagen. <laughs> this is the Polaris. This is perpetual calendar. This is moon uh, of both hemispheres, the northern and the southern. Rose gold, sorry, pink gold, pink gold. as well yeah. as steel. And of course, with a quick release of the bracelet, so you can put a wonderful rubber strap, integrated rubber strap on the steel as, as well to make it look as cool as the pink gold version. 42 millimeters and mind you, it's water resistant to 100 meters. See, I was just top of mind, I was just thinking about what other perpetual calendars do you know of, do I know of that's 100 meters water resistant. So what I really like about this watch, it's a sporty Chesley Coultre full of the elegant Haute Holocherie that a perpetual calendar is. Absolutely. And, and it comes with a wonderful gradient blue dial. It goes for the pink gold version as well as the steel version. The legibility of this perpetual calendar is out of this world. See, me with my old eyes, I've had several perpetual calendars where I had to put a magnifying eye just to see the complications. See, that does not make any sense. I can see everything here. I can also spot the security indicator. I thought for a start it, yeah. was, uh, it was a power reserve indicator, but it's not. It's actually an indicator that shows if you can adjust the date, uh, which you can't between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Yeah. Because the, 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 the sprackets are already there, they're already the, all the wheels are already preparing for a move of all the hands to go from date and day and moon and everything. So if you force it between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., you will interfere with the mechanical movement, which is not good. It could be harmful, right? And so that's actually a good feature. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I fully agree with you, uh, Christian. And I also think that you, you mentioned the, the legibility. Mm. I think that is a very strong point of Jezus Le Coutre in general. Because yeah. uh, if you look at the master control, their other line where they also have the perpetual calendar, it reminds me of that. It's, it's, it's a totally new watch, but it's also recognizable. And I think it's, um, it's a perfect daily beater. Especially it, if you take the steel one. Yes, the steel it, one. <laughs> but what I would you to, take? I don't want to beat around a pink gold version. But what I also like, you know, the inner bezel, which is such a, a yeah. famed feature of the Polaris. Yeah. Definitely a sports watch. A sports watch with the perpetual calendar, a moon face, a safety indicator, if you like. Yeah. Not to... to uh, uh, destroy the the me mechanism of the, of that wonderful automatic movement, which, by the way, is a caliber eight six eight double A. Yeah, and the perpetual calendar will be uh, will be available uh, this year, mm -hmm. and it's actually a new iteration on the Polaris line that was reintroduced, as you know, might know, in two thousand eighteen, uh, paying tribute to the original nineteen sixty eight version of the Polaris. So it's a beautiful piece, and now you're showing the... Uh, the yeah, the quick release. The quick release. Yeah. Let's take a big jump, Christian. Yes. From the Polaris Perpetual Calendar, you will hear and see a lot more of it, to uh, something out of this world. Let's put it like that. A small leap for you, a giant leap for Cecil Kultra. And for mankind. And for mankind. Because here, what we have, I'll show two... It's both the caliber 945. And what is the caliber 945? It is uh, a tourbillon, a spherical tourbillon, mm -hmm. that is moving, uh, as you see, at a pace of 23 hours and 56 seconds. That's not 24 hours. No, it's four minutes less. And that is because it is actually measuring the sign of the stars. This is not about Earth. This is about space. Uh, the Calibre 945, furthermore, is uh, including a minute repeater, the highest level of complication. A beautiful sonnery. Imagine that you are able to have this on your wrist, a true minute repeater in the true sense of the word, but it's actually, uh, it's, it's a grand complication. I think we, oh, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. call it like that. Sure. If you have a spherical tourbillon, if you have this uh, beautiful sky charts in two different ways, because mm -hmm. we have, this is the uh, red gold galaxia, mm -hmm. and here we have the white gold atomium. And the, the dial is completely different. It's, 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 it's looking beautiful. But also it's, on these high complications, all mechanism does not go into the watch. It also has a wonderful, very mechanical clasp, yeah. which has, via these two wheels, a micro-adjustment. I just told you, it looks like a movement in itself. It does, because of the yeah. wheels in the back. Yeah. Gorgeous. We're just going to show some close-ups of it. Both editions come uh, in five. So five people in the world will be able to have the Atomium or have the Galaxia. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, the price is out of this world. We're not going to mention it, but make sure it is a celestial price rate. A serious investment. Okay. Yeah. The 948 Universal no, Tourbillon. Listen, I, oh, sorry. I, have, I have to interrupt you. Yeah, okay. You know what is also? It's an extreme uh, uh, investment in enjoyment. True. This is tremendous watchmaking at a level that belongs. Uh, at the moon, yeah, with the stars, yeah, with a celestial theme, yeah. This this, this is outrageously cool, and uh, we are so happy to be able to show it to you now. There's so many of our personal favorites at this table right now, but there's more. This is a watch that you wear, that you plan to wear it on special occasions. That special day is dedicated to that watch because there is so much going on on your wrist. You will you will spend a day with it. Okay, there's more. The 948 Universal Tourbillon mm. is actually combining the spherical tourbillon with a world timer and a beautiful animal positioning of the globe, yeah. of the world. Wow, that's craftsmanship. Yeah, it's a bit curved, so it's actually, it's not the earth as we see flat, but it's curved in the right, exactly, exactly in the right angle. Yeah. So you can imagine how complicated this is 
for the craftsmen here in uh, Le Sentier to Le create Sentier. such a piece. It's 43 millimeter, it's a bit smaller, and it comes in an edition of 20 pieces, yeah. Christian. That's in white amazing. Gold. That's amazing. See, there's something that we can't show. Can we talk about the Atmos? Yeah, we can, of course. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a wonderful Atmos as well, uh, which is one of the few cornerstones of Chez Le Culture being presented during Watches and Wonders 2022. The Atmos is uh, existing since 1928. Yeah. So I checked it here in, uh, internally, and uh, in a few years' time, we have a celebration. Yeah. But right now, uh, we're launching, or actually, Jeje Le Coutre is launching two Atmos pieces. One is mm. the Infinite, and that is actually um, yeah, a regular edition. It's, it's unlimited, um, and it's a completely redesigned clock. So we know you probably have a, have a view on how the traditional Atmos looks like. It came in very variations, but it's, it's uh, a classic clock, if you will. Mm -hmm. This is completely modern. It's new. It's super transparent. It gives you full sight on, on, on the technology, on the movements of the, of the Atmos clock. Um, and it's available shortly. And they have something special because this is the celestial year for Gilles de Coutre. Mm -hmm. So the Tellerium is an Atmos that pays tribute to the sky in all its complexity. It's hyper complex and it comes in 10 pieces. That's a poetic instrument almost. It's a poetic instrument. I could imagine that you're staring at it all day. Um, the, the, it's also a novelty. It's also released at Watches and Wonders this year. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful because the Atmos is a classic, is a legend in horology, even though you don't put it on your wrist. I just put this on my wrist. Yeah, you do. Because I love it. I honestly, dearly love it. And I want to spend my holidays with this watch. This year, Gilles Le Coutre is not forgetting about the ladies. Because as usual, they're strong in, in ladies' watches. And actually, I remember a couple of years ago, they were very keen and very active in introducing higher complications in female watches. What they do this year is the Rendezvous Dazzling Star Stellar. What a crazy watch. It's 36 millimeters, pink gold, diamonds all over, and of course, it has the celestial theme. And the fun part, if you will, on this watch is the falling star. You are in for a surprise, literally. Literally. Because usually watchmakers are very keen on creating a logic flow. So every now and then something happens because of the mechanism, because of the movement. But here a falling star is something that appears on the inner side of the, of the dial and it comes irregularly. So if you wear the watch a lot and you are moving around, then you have more falling stars than where you're, when you're a bit of a quiet person. And you never know when it happens. So once in a while, during the day, you can make a wish. How wonderful is that? How poetic is that? My wife would love it, to make a wish. I'd love it. I think it's a great idea. Uh, of course, the rendezvous is, is definitely determined for the, for the female wrist. But the complication is so creative. See, when we're talking about watchmaking, uh, we're talking about precision. See, irregularity is also about precision. You're right. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know what the movement looks inside, but it would be fun to see how do they determine when to see the falling star on that subdial. That is his master secret. I love it. Again, super creativity from Chase Le Coutre. There's one thing missing here. There's no Rebalso, there's no memo box. No. Two cor cornerstones of Chase Le Coutre's DNA pedigree, if you like. Yeah. And it's kind of refreshing to see an evolution of the Polaris collection, as well as the craftsmanship and the know-how and the extreme watchmaking skills that goes into every Chez Le Coulter mo movement, of course, but into these novelties especially. Because they did this very extreme reversal last year, right? Yes. At 90 years. Yes. That was also yeah. a bit celestial inspired. Yes. Because, yeah, I think it had five or six dials. It was amazing. It was a super complicated yeah. uh, uh, reversal with dials on every possible side and facet of the wonderful watch. Of course, it was shown last year because it was the 90th anniversary of the legendary reversal. 
from 1932. 31. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. So that was it from Le Sanchez. It's super sunny outside. Uh, Switzerland looking more beautiful than ever. It's crisp. We just had a good lunch at the good people at the Cheshire Culture. And unfortunately, we have to be leaving. We have to be leaving, but uh, we will be back, that's for sure, because yeah. a lot of beautiful things is going to happen here in Le yes. Sentier. And Gégé Lecoutre confirmed us that the celestial year has not ended yet. So more to come yeah. on how we celebrate horology, not only on Earth, but also up there. Up there. Yeah. Yeah, with your dad and my dad. True. Actually, my dad loves Gégé Lecoutre. My dad didn't know about Shish Lukosa. Okay, okay. Well, maybe they meet each other. <laughs> they should. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to this very, very special on-location podcast from Daily Watch Talks. Mm -hmm.